Hey everybody, I'm here today with an easy math lesson on percentages. In this video, I'll be going over the basics of percentages. I'll be telling you what they are, what they mean, and how to calculate percentages of things. All right, without further ado, let's get right into the video. If you can imagine that we have a pie, okay? And we have all of the pie, right? We have the entire pie. That is 100%. So this right here, this symbol is actually the percent symbol. Okay, once again, it's just a dot followed by a little slash and then another dot, just like that. That is the symbol that means percent. And when you have 100%, that means you have the whole thing. Okay, now let's say we have a pie and we don't have any of this pie. We don't have any, it's blank right now. We would actually have 0% of the pie. Okay, so a percent is basically uh, a value that means what part of the whole. So right now we have the whole pie, which is 100%, which means the entire thing. And right here we have 0%, which means nothing. Now there are a whole bunch of numbers and values of percentages in between 0 and 100 that I'm going to go over as well. But you need to understand first and foremost that a percentage is basically just an amount of a whole that you have. If you have the whole thing, it's 100%. So 100% is the whole thing and 0% is actually none, okay? Just so that it's clear. Now let's say <clears throat> we have another pie over here, and on this pie, we actually have half. So we have half of the pie, as you can see. We only have half of the pie. That means that we would have half of the whole thing. So we would have half of 100%, which would be 50% of the pie, okay? So when we have half of something, it's half of 100%, which is 50%. Let's say that we have another pie over here, and we have one quarter of this pie. As you can see, we have one quarter. That means that we would have one quarter of the whole thing. One quarter of 100% would be 25%, because 25 is one quarter of 100. Now, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to turn a fraction into a de into a, a percentage. So let's say <clears throat> that you have a fraction and your fraction is going to be one out of two. So you have half of something and you want to figure out a quick and easy way to turn it into a percentage. Well, a percentage is just a number that is really a portion of 100%. So it's going to be a portion of 100%. So we have to figure out how to go from two to 100 with the bottom number. So to get from 2 to 100, we need to multiply 2 times 50 to get to 100. So we do the same thing to the top number. 1 times 50 is equal to 50. And 50 out of 100 is equal to 50%. Whenever you have a number over 100 or out of 100, that's not going to be the percent. The top number is actually going to be the percentage. So let's say we have you know, a fraction and it is going to be, you know, something like, like 61 out of 100. Okay. And if we have 61 out of 100, that means we have 61 out of this 100, meaning we have 61% just like that. And if you want to convert something like a decimal into a percentage, what you can do is you can look at how many places after the decimal you have. So let's say you have a number like 0.52. Okay, if there are only two digits after the decimal, just like this one over here, there's only two digits, then that's going to be your number uh, as your percent. So 0 0.52 is the same as 52 out of 100, which is the same as 52%. Very simple. Now, let's say you only have one digit after the decimal. Let's say you have 0 0.7. Okay, well, 0 0.7 is the same as 7 out of 10, because there's only one digit after the decimal, which is the same as 70 out of 100, which is the same as 70%. And there's one final thing, and this is probably the most complicated part, but if you understand it, you're good to go with percentages. If you have a number that has three digits after the decimal, so let's say I have 0 0.712 right? 0 0.712 is equivalent to 712 out of 1,000. And when you convert that to a percent, it's not 712%, it's 
71.2%. Very simple. 71.2%. So you have to add that decimal right there before the percentage um, if you are dealing with a number that has three digits after the decimal. And that's basically it. In this video, I've gone over the basics of percentages. I hope that you've enjoyed this easy math lesson. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.